Um, this is the part where you're supposed to run away. Before we get to Shrek Forever After for Wii, a quick note to Hollywood from your cynical friends here at Classic Game Room. Try using pencils and paper to design your characters, not mouses and monitors. Bob Clampett would roll over in his grave if he found out this is what people consider animation these days. Fortunately for those of you with children pestering you to buy this game, rest assured Shrek is better on Wii than he is on the silver screen. Though that's not really saying much. Ugh, seriously, who, who designs this crap? Shrek Forever After is the awful fourth movie or whatever in the awful film franchise. I think it's supposed to be the last one. We should be so lucky. And this, of course, is the video game adaptation. Than it looks. Well, thank you very much. Actually, can we just call it an interactive commercial? Because really, that's all these movie-based games are. They're marketing tools designed to ensure parents spend as much as possible on amateurish and disposable entertainment for their kids. Yay, Hollywood! If you've watched Mark's review of the Xbox 360 version, you'll notice the Wii adaptation is basically just a low-res version of the same game. Most of the time, that's a recipe for utter failure. Developers who water down the PS3 and 360 versions of multi-platform games to bring them to Wii, instead of creating something unique from the ground up for Nintendo's system, are rarely successful in doing so. Actually, no, they're almost never successful in doing so. Those experiences simply are not interchangeable between the HD consoles and the Wii, and 99% of the time it just doesn't work. Now, maybe it's because Shrek Forever After is just a game for kids and expectations are lower, but for some reason it seems to fall in that slim 1%. It's not bad looking for a movie-based Wii game, and it's pretty well made. For its intended audience and purpose, it's really not that bad. I mean, it's not good. It's good for kids. I'm gonna get you! Oh, get back here! I guess an applicable analogy would be that this is a training wheels type of game. It teaches kids lots of common gaming knowledge and cliches so that when they're older and ready to play good games, they'll be prepared thanks to stuff like this that taught them the basics of, you know, character abilities, blowing up barrels, pushing blocks. This kind of stuff's video games 101. Although, one has to wonder if this is really a good time to release a game in which kids are encouraged to spill barrels of oil all over a swamp. Kind of bad timing, to say the least. So, you know, make sure you tell your kids that, I don't know, Shrek has a magical sham wow that cleans it up off screen or something. When you're not destroying wetlands, you basically run through linear 3D environments filled with sporadic enemies and the occasional ambush. Collect the coins to buy upgrades for your characters, uh, switch between them on the fly to use their unique abilities in obvious situations. I mean, like I said, this is essentially video games 101, so don't expect a challenge. The puzzles are easy and the combat is comprised of incessant A button mashing, but because it's for a younger demographic, that's probably a good thing and it all works really well. The nice thing about Shrek Forever After is that it definitely packs a lot of adventuring into the experience. There's rarely a moment in which you're not battling enemies or solving a puzzle, so there's minimal downtime. And I'd imagine it would keep the child entranced by it pretty busy. But I don't know, I, I grew up playing Mega Man. That was my Training Wheels game. But I guess that's like Training Wheels on a Harley going 115 miles an hour while firing smart bombs. That's what kids should be playing today, Mega Man. Parents, if you want to buy your kids a game, buy them Mega Man. Don't buy them Shrek. It's kind of tough to review games like this because there's an addendum to every statement you make about it. You have to say, well, it's not bad for a kid's game, and I, I guess the gameplay's okay for a kid's game. After a while, that just gets really annoying. You don't see film critics going easy on mediocre movies just because of their intended audience. Shrek Forever After for Wii, it's a good movie-based kids game, sure, but let's be honest for a minute. That's like saying he's a good hitter for a guy who bats below 200. And that's a cool DeLorean for one that doesn't go 88 miles an hour. But you don't 
want me to go back to Dragon without all of her babies, do you? Shrek Forever After is a solid little kids game, and the target demographic should like it. Of course, a vast majority of said demographic also pees in public pools and eats their own nose goblins. So, you know, take that with a grain of salt when deciding if Shrek Forever After for the Nintendo Wii is for you.